Big Brother Ranger Games was a spin-off that I had very, very low expectations for. And uh, similar to a, a spin-off many years ago, Celebrity Big Brother, uh, because of those low expectations, I think I was pleasantly surprised. Uh, there are a few key reasons why I like Big Brother Ranger Games, aside from just like the obvious being I liked seeing most of this cast again. Uh, watching them talk and do goofy holiday themed competitions was fun, but there are a few key points on why I think I enjoyed this season and why I think a lot of people enjoyed this season and I wanted to get into, get into it since uh, Big Brother season's upon us. So yeah, this is going to be really short. <laughs> I've got three points and that's it. Uh, could be rambly, we'll see, but uh, let's jump on in. The first thing, Cam and Cody, known comp bros, go out early. Uh, Cameron is someone that I never liked. I really hated him on uh, on season 25. I thought he was arrogant, thought he was real weird, with uh, uh, America specifically. And um, yeah, I was, I was glad that he lost that season. It was a little kind of confused why he was brought back for Ranger Games over like jag who i also didn't like but that would have made more sense to me um and then he goes out first it's amazing it's great uh and then cody uh i don't hate cody the way a lot of online folks do uh i i don't think he's like the best player of all time or anything like that um but like i, I wasn't like coming in rooting against him however uh he's a comp bro that's one of his avenues as a player and watching a comp bro and uh, a, a pretty high-ranking winner, not the best winner, but high-ranking winner, go out early, uh, I was like, okay, this season is not what I expected so far. You kind of look at uh, the, the season and the format and you're like, oh, it's all about competitions. Obviously, the comp bros are going to take it. And then two of them go back to back. And I was like, all right, we're cooking here. We got something special here. So yeah, that was cool. The wheel comp episode was nuts. I uh, couldn't get a good gif of it, which is why I've got DJ Bowie Jane. A fan favorite, DJ Bowie Jane. <laughs> robbed, robbed goddess, DJ Bowie Jane. Um, the wheel comp episode, like, it sucks in terms of who went home. Spoilers. I should have said spoilers at the start before I talked about the first two boots, but Daniel Reyes, uh, who I love and a lot of BB fans love, I don't know anyone who doesn't like Daniel Reyes in terms of people I've talked to Big Brother about before, but she goes home and that sucks, but the episode itself, there's just so much tension and people doubting themselves and then believing in themselves like Brittany. Uh, it was just a nutty episode. I, I was shook the whole time. I was real nervous about who was going to go home. I was kind of hoping it would be Xavier, another comp bro, but it's okay. Danielle took the bullet for him, unfortunately. But this episode, I mean, I was, I was engaged the whole time, and that's not something I usually get out of Big Brother. Uh, uh, BB25, I liked a decent amount of the season, but a lot of it was because of the live feeds, not so much the episode. Um, so coming into this where it's just episodes i was like all right they got me they got me with this and i liked i liked pretty much every episode to be honest but this one especially was like this is a standout the cast was hyping it up online um and they were right to do so because <laughs> i was like dang y'all went crazy here so yeah nicole and taylor beat the boys at the end uh the final four it's Nicole, Taylor, Frankie, and Xavier. And Frankie and Xavier are two of the uh, best competition fellas of all time, I'd say. And um, Nicole and Taylor beat them both, and then they were the final two competing. And while I would have liked Taylor to win a little bit more, uh, I didn't mind Nicole on this season. I thought she was fine. And I was happy that they beat the bros and Christmas was saved by the gals. I thought that was fun. Um, it sets a good precedent for other potential holiday themed spin-offs. That was almost a, a thing I made was uh, predicting other 
Big Brother Holiday spinoffs, but I couldn't think of any good ones. Because <laughs> they're all they're, they're just any holiday themed spinoff of Big Brother sounds goofy. This one sounds and was goofy, but I liked it anyways. But yeah, it's Colin Taylor beat the boys. Pretty cool. Who who would have saw that coming when you saw this cast at, off the jump? Not me. I I was like, oh, this is. Hopefully this won't be bad, and it wasn't, and I couldn't believe it. So yeah, a happy ending, I'd say. Not what I expected. Hooray for low expectations, and uh, having those <laughs> low expectations exceeded. Alright, that's pretty much all I've got for why I like trading your games. Uh, yeah, had to, had to keep it short. I moved <laughs> between making this and recording this. <laughs> And my brain is all scrambled still, so, but wanted to wanted to talk a little bit about some Big Brother stuff. I did this and then the Zingbot thing before BB starts up in at the time of this recording, like a month. But I think by the time this airs, it'll be like the same week. Wild. All right. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.